He is known for his widespread missionary work among Native American peoples in the mid-19th century. He is recognized for his extensive travels as a missionary, covering a total of 180,000 miles. His name is Pierre-Jean de Smet. In the mid-19th century, a courageous and dedicated man embarked on a remarkable journey that would forever shape the course of history. Pierre-Jean de Smet, S.J., a Flemish Catholic priest and member of the Society of Jesus, devoted his life to spreading the light of faith among the Native American peoples in the Midwestern and Northwestern United States and Western Canada. Pierre-Jean de Smet's travels as a missionary were nothing short of extraordinary, spanning over 180,000 miles. His unwavering commitment to his calling led him to venture into the vast and untamed wilderness, crossing rivers, forests, and mountains in his unyielding pursuit to bring the teachings of Christianity to indigenous communities. Among his many expeditions, de Smet navigated the mighty Missouri River, where he encountered numerous tribes and established profound connections with their leaders. He followed the meandering course of the Platte River, weaving his way through the untamed wilderness, never faltering in his mission to share the Word of God. His travels also took him to the Big Sioux River, where the native inhabitants welcomed him with open arms, recognizing his deep respect and understanding of their traditions and culture. It was here that de Smet's reputation as a compassionate mediator began to take root, earning him the affectionate nickname, de Groot Swartrock, meaning, the Great Black Robe, in the native tongue. Venturing beyond the borders of the United States, de Smet journeyed into the rugged wilderness of Canada. He traversed the formidable Athabasca Pass, braving the harsh elements and treacherous terrain to reach the Canoe River, where he encountered indigenous communities eager to embrace his message of peace and unity. But de Smet's exploration did not stop there. Further westward, he ventured into the uncharted territories of Wyoming, where he navigated the perilous Bitterroot River, forging new paths and establishing connections with the Native American tribes who called this land their home. Pierre-Jean de Smet's expeditions had a profound impact on the world, bringing together diverse cultures and promoting understanding and cooperation between indigenous peoples and European settlers. His tireless efforts as a peacemaker and advocate for justice laid the foundation for future negotiations and treaties, including the historic 1868 Treaty of Fort Laramie, where he played a crucial role in persuading the Sioux War Chief, Sitting Bull, to participate. As we reflect upon the extraordinary life and legacy of Pierre-Jean de Smet, we are reminded of a man whose vision and compassion transcended borders and cultures, touching the hearts and souls of countless individuals. His exploration of the Northwestern Territories and his unwavering dedication to the Native American peoples have left an indelible mark on history, forever reminding us of the transformative power of faith and love. Pierre-Jean de Smet, a young Belgian Jesuit, embarked on a journey to the Northwestern United States and Canada with the noble intention of becoming a missionary to Native Americans. He arrived in the United States with his fellow Belgian Jesuits and settled at the Petit Seminaire in Mechelen. In 1823, de Smet was transferred to Florissant, Missouri, where he continued his studies and immersed himself in the languages and customs of the Native American tribes. As de Smet pursued his theological and linguistic studies, he founded academic institutions, including the St. Regis Seminary, where he interacted with indigenous students and deepened his understanding of their cultures. In 1833, he became an American citizen, further solidifying his commitment to his missionary work. However, due to health issues, de Smet returned to Flanders in 1830, temporarily leaving his mission behind. It wasn't until 1837 that he was able to return to St. Louis, ready to once again dedicate his life to serving the Native American communities. Inspired by his experiences and armed with linguistic knowledge and a deep understanding of the tribes, de Smet would soon embark on a series of extraordinary expeditions, traveling across rivers such as the Missouri, Platte, and Big Sioux, as well as venturing through the rugged landscapes of Wyoming. His journeys would take him far and wide, from the Athabasca Pass to the Canoe River and the Bitterroot River. As he explored these vast regions, de Smet's steadfast dedication to his mission became evident, and his name would become synonymous with the early exploration and evangelization of the American West. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.